Cincinnati would love to do it now. But this is popped up. Mile high in the infield by Benson. And it's dropped, allowing them to get the runner at first. <laughs> and they're going to with one of the savviest plays you'll see. You're not supposed to steal the candy from a baby, but that's exactly what Guerrero So the correct answer here is that this is not an intentionally dropped ball. And it's also not an infield fly. For it to be an infield fly, we would have had to have runners on first and second, or first, second, and third. And in this scenario, we only have the one runner on first. Now, on the side of the intentionally drop ball, to have an intentional drop in all rule sets, you have to have the ball touched in flight by a defensive player. In this case, the first baseman simply lets it fall to the ground untouched, so it won't qualify for that rule. And if it had been touched in flight by the first baseman, we still would have had to judge whether or not it was intentionally dropped or just an error. But either way, in this play, since the ball simply goes untouched in flight, the result of the play is going to stand.